Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to go over how to wire up the ESP8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller to a serial port and program it using the Arduino IDE. So the parts that you're going to need to complete this project are a breadboard. This is a full-size breadboard, but any size that can fit the parts that you need will work. Five male to female jumper cables. The ESP8266-01 module. An FTDI or similar USB to serial uh, adapter an LED of your choice, a 220 ohm resistor, a push button, and a little jumper wire. So let's get into it. Alright guys, I've gone ahead and wired up my ESP module using the jumper cables to various points on my breadboard. I will put a link in the description of the video to the pinout of this module so you guys can follow along. The red and black wires are connected to the 3.3, the red wire 3.3 volt VN, and the black wire is connected to ground. The green wire here, this is connected to the CHPD pin or the chip power down pin. So in order to run the ESP module in standard mode, you need to have the CHPD or the chip power down pin connected to VCC or 3.3 volts. The orange wire is connected to the RX pin and the yellow wire is connected to the TX pin. So these are our main communication pins to the computer. The blue wire here is connected to GPIO 0. In order to enter programming mode on the ESP modules, you must pull the GPIO 0 pin to ground on power up. So we're going to wire a button up to this, this pin here and we're going to have that button connect to ground. So that whenever we power this board, we will hold down the button and enter into programming mode and then we can release the button and upload our code. And this grayish white wire here, this is connected to GPIO2 and we will be using GPIO2 to upload the Blink program, the standard Blink Arduino program, and this will be connected to an LED. So let's get the rest of the components wired up. I'm going to start wiring with wiring our LED here. So as always with wiring our LED we want to use a current limiting resistor. So I have a 220 ohm resistor here and I'm going to just plug it in to the GPIO 2 pin. Alright so we have a slightly closer view of the breadboard now so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the 220 ohm resistor and I'm going to plug it into the same column as the gray white wire here and have it plugged into a, an empty column over here. The next step is to take our LED and we locate the positive and negative pins. The positive is the longer leg and the negative is the shorter leg and we are going to plug the positive side into the same column where our resistor is and the negative side is going to connect to our ground power rail here. So you can see we have GPIO2 coming and connecting to the resistor and the resistor connected to the positive side of the LED and the negative side of the LED is connected to ground. So the next component that we're going to wire up is our button. And this is the button that will let us easily enter programming mode for uploading new programs to the ESP8266. So the way that we're going to wire this up is we're going to put the button on the same, 
column as the blue wire on one side of the button and the other side of the button we are going to connect to ground. So whenever we want to upload a new program we will temporarily remove power, hold down the button, and plug power back into the module. And this will enter programming mode allowing us to upload a new program to the module. The last step is to attach our programmer. Now this is a programmer I made specifically for the ESP8266. It has an extra voltage regulator on it to supplement the onboard regulator that is on board the FTDI chip. I did this because the ESP8266 uh, runs on 3.3 volts, however it can draw quite a bit of electricity. So the onboard regulator for 3.3 volts is very low powered. It will not supply a lot of current. So I added a, an LM1117 voltage regulator and added an extra little set of headers here and this will supply the power that I need in order to program the module. There do exist plenty of other programmers out there that will supply the right amount of current but I had to modify this one. It's the only one that I have. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach our power wires so our red and our black wires here. So we're going to plug the red wire, which is connected to 3.3 volts, we're going to connect that up to the red line, red power rail, and the black wire will connect to the blue power rail, the ground rail, and that will power our ESP8266 whenever we plug it in. The next wires that we're going to do are these orange and yellow wires. Now I have color coded these so that the orange wire on the ESP8266, which is the TX wire, is this orange wire here is the RX wire of the programmer, of the FTDI module. So we'll plug that in, and we'll plug in the yellow wire, which is the TX pin on the ESP module, and the RX pin on the FTDI module. And with that all plugged in, we're ready to start programming. Alright guys, so we're going to upload our first program onto our ESP module now, the standard Arduino Blink program. Now there's a little bit that you need to do before you can actually run and upload programs onto the ESP module. So the first thing that you need to do is add the ESP module to your board manager. So the way that we do that is you go into the Arduino preferences and you add, I'm going to put a link to this at the bottom in the description of this video. You need to add this link to your additional boards manager and make sure at the moment the uh, latest version of Arduino is not actually compatible with the ESP core files. So at the moment, you need to use either 1.6.4, 5, or 6. It does not work with 7. So make sure that you have at least one of these slightly older versions. I'm using 1.6.5. Uh, 4 through 6 should work though. So once you have the board added to the additional boards list, the next thing that you need to do is install the board. So to do that you go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and there will be the ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community. I already have it installed, but you'll need to select the version, the correct version for your Arduino version and install it. So make sure you do that. So to upload a program to our Arduino, 
I have the Blink program here. The only thing that I have changed is I've changed the LED pin to pin 2 because we will be using GPIO pin number 2 on the ESP module. And that's the only thing I've changed. So we can go and verify our program and make sure, yes, it compiles. And we check to make sure we have the correct board selected, the generic ESP8266 module. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the, uh, the FTDI serial module now, and I'm going to hold down the button that we wired up earlier. And this will put it into programming mode. So I'm going to do that now. So we're going to push the button here, hold it down as I plug in the USB. And now we're in programming mode, ready to upload our code. I have my board plugged in, and the next thing that we need to do is make sure that you have the right serial port selected. So it might not, mine is already selected onto the serial device itself, uh, but sometimes it will not be selected on anything or it'll be selected on the wrong device. Make sure you have the correct serial port selected. And assuming you've done everything correctly, you should be able to click the upload button. It will compile. And then a couple seconds later, it will begin flashing the ESP module. And this takes about 20 to 30 seconds. So we'll let it upload now. And it's done uploading. And let's see if it worked. So we're going to plug in power to our module here and see if our uploaded code runs. So we have plugged in and you can see our little red LED here is blinking away exactly as we want. This is the basic setup for wiring and programming an ESP8266-01 module with the Arduino IDE. In future videos I will show you guys how to connect to a network and to use various protocols to talk to the internet and to talk to other devices on your network. It'll be a series that I'm creating as part of my ESP8266 tutorials. So stay tuned, like and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and want more, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.